What's going on, people of God? This is Dr. Pastor Ben Lim here. I'm so excited to have you back in the studio. It's good to be back in the studio. You already know I've been traveling for the last month, 35 days straight, seven states, 13 cities, doing tent revivals for 35 days. God is good. Thank for all of your love and your prayers. And uh, here we are today. We have a very special broadcast with my good friend, Prophet Charlie Shamp. Uh, a general in the army of the Lord, but we're excited because we're going to talk about some things in the spirit and some things concerning the prophetic and who here knows that we need the prophetic, the office of the prophet and the gift, the spirit of the prophetic, of course, is Jesus. Jesus, the testimony of the Lord is a spirit of prophecy, but these are the days of breakthrough. And if you need a breakthrough, in fact, if you need a prophetic <clears throat> breakthrough, we want you to join in and tag in. So let me know where you are watching from. Give us some hearts, likes. Do share this on your wall. Tag somebody. My goodness, it's going to be so powerful. And in a few minutes, we're going to bring on the man of God, Prophet Charlie Champ. And he has a word. And we're going to release words. And there's going to be a stirring. And there's going to be some so profound that happens. I love it when prophets, prophetic people come together. Truly a company of prophets something dynamic is released that would not be released when we're just alone or individually independent. But there is a cluster anointing that's being released. So I'm so excited to have our good friend, Prophet Charlie Champ here. So I want you to share this on your wall. Tag somebody. Give us some hearts and likes. Let's get the viewerships up. People of God, amen. And I want to give some shout outs to you. Praise God. Let us know where you were watching from. Let us know if you see us and hear that. If this is clear here on the broadcast, amen. Let us know if this is clear here. But let me know where you're watching from, people of God. And I want to give you some shout outs here. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This is the day that the Lord has made. Hallelujah. Shatarabaterebrota. Let me know where you're Yakima, Sal and Rosa Betten Courts, Colleen Romero, Romeo, God bless you. South Africa, we got our Safas in the house. You know how much I love South Africa. Roxanne Smuts, praise God. Cincinnati Hi, Tina Parker, God bless you. Hello, Prophet Tim Kenner, Christine Leonard from Sacramento, Sacktown, into his house. People of God. Let's get the viewership up. Amen. Listen, this prophetic breakthrough broadcast is going to change a life. I believe there's some prophetic words. There's some things I want to say and I want to release. But I know the man of God, Prophet Charlie, as he's, as he's been in the spirit, as he is a man of wealth, of knowledge, wisdom, in part, there's going to be some so dynamic, powerful that's going to be released here. Amen. So let's get the viewerships up today. Before I have the man of God come forth. Hello there, Billy. Good seeing you, my friend. Hello there, Myrna Alvarez. Shalom to Alicia Jackson. Juan Martinez. Durban. Durban, South Africa. I believe Tyler McDonald. Providence Yvonne from downtown Los Angeles. Pastor Sharon Smith. Laura says, I'm still in Illinois. Arkansas. Joshua. DD. Good to see you around, my friend. Who here knows that when prophets come together, there's something supernatural that happens. There's a synergy of anointings. There is a combustive, culminating anointing that takes place. One puts to flight 1,000, but two puts to flight 10,000. There is an exponential grace that takes place. And I'm so excited to have our good friend, Prophet Charlie Champ here, because as we talk about prophetic breakthrough today, there is going to be a great realm of breakthrough that's going to open up over your life. So I'm so excited to have the man of God. So give us some hearts, likes, share this on your wall and tag somebody. Amen. And uh, we're so excited to have you. Of course, this is Dr. Pastor Ben Lim here. And uh, we just finished 35 days, four and a half weeks of 10 revival. So thank you all for your love and prayers. I'm kind of happy to be back to my normal, regular itinerant life where I can't even be in the studio here. Amen. But this is going to be so powerful, so you do not want to miss this. So help us tag a friend, tag a hater, tag a heretic hunter, okay? Tag somebody who needs deliverance, amen? Tag somebody here. Prophet Charles is laughing in the back room here. 
but uh, you need to tag somebody, share this on your wall, share this to your groups, because my goodness, we have the man of God, Prophet Charlie Champ here. So people of God, I want you to give us some hearts and likes as we welcome the man of God, as Prophet Charlie Champ comes on. Give us some hearts and likes. Let's welcome the man of God all the way from Moravian Falls. Come on, somebody. Prophet Charlie, God bless you. Hey, Pastor Ben, it's great to be on with you. Praise God. God bless you, my friend. I'm so glad that you're here today. This is going to be powerful. And, uh, you know, uh, of course, we love you. We honor you. We honor your gift, the gift that you are in the body of Christ. And also, we love your family. You know, uh, I've been connecting a lot with your brother, Prophet Jesse and Prophet Amy. I'm so glad that they got a baby coming. Praise God. And uh, more babies galore as well. But it's been a little while since you and I, we've come together. So we're super glad that you're here today. Yeah, it's an exciting time that we're living in right now. God is moving and um, the Lord is doing things that are fresh and new. And we're excited to be a part of those things. Come on. You said the Lord is doing things that are fresh and new. Talk to us. I know, again, you you, you pretty much planted a hub in Moravian Falls. You moved to Moravian Falls, you know, pretty much one of the uh, epicenters of the prophetic right and so fresh and new talk to us what are some fresh and new things happening in your life and in your ministry destiny encounters talk to us man of god well some of uh the people that may be watching know that we purchased a property here in moravian falls uh around three years ago it was our it was the first property which is where our studio is uh which is five acres and then last year the lord opened a door for us to purchase um a property that is in the area which is another 15 acres 15 16 acres with a with a building a facility is on that that's where our world headquarters is we've been renovating that and now we've started to open it uh in the mornings every morning it's open uh from five to seven uh for prayer and we're really we're really uh relighting that um menorah uh, the candlestick of the lord uh, and what uh, the Moravians uh, mm. were all about for this region, this area, we're, we're tapping into that prayer. We're tapping into um, that um, well of missions. And, and so we're raising up a community of prophetic uh, people. And we're, we're excited about what God is doing uh, this year. And then, in, of course, in the coming years, we just believe that this is going to be an area where uh, the rich heritage is going to begin to spring up and it's a new generation of young prophets and uh, prophetic people believers that are flowing in the supernatural that are going to come out of this area in this region and we're helping to cultivate that so we're, we're really uh, excited about the future here in raving falls we're excited about seeing sons and daughters raised up in ministry we're excited to see uh, all that god has to has for america and we believe that this is a a strategic place, a gathering place, uh, an eagle's nest for um, those that are learning and growing uh, in the supernatural to be raised up and then obviously to soar and, and do everything that God's called them to do. Wow, love it. And uh, of course, you know, I've been pastoring for 12, 13 years as a local church pastor while doing itinerary, while doing missions and revival. And I'm so happy, let me say, to see different friends in a gospel that have been more itinerant ministers, you know, launching hubs and launching church plants and opening up, you know, safe places for people to gather because we know that since COVID-19, since all of that hoax, more and more churches are getting shut down. More and more revival hubs are being shut down and people aren't even gathering. They're afraid to gather. Yes, we love the virtual. There's power in media, social media, but there's something about the ecclesia gathering. So I just want to salute you. And I'm so happy uh, to see again that, you know, you, you received a call from the Lord to open up a hub because there's something about being a local governing authority and taking over in that region. So I love that. And I believe many of you watching right now, God does want to give you land. God does want to give you property. God does want to give you the vineyards that you did not plant, the houses that you did not build. Why? Because it is that generational wealth. It is that generational legacy from one glory to the next. So, so so happy to hear that, man of God. Again, fresh and new. Everybody say fresh and new because I believe there's something fresh and there's something new 
that the Lord is doing today. Amen. Now, Prophet Charlie, um, we're we're so excited. We're gonna have you next week in Hawaii. Uh, it's it's the first time I'm actually meeting your lovely wife, woman of God, Bryn. So it's gonna be the both of you. You're gonna be in Hawaii with us next week with Jake Hamilton. And we're gonna talk about that in a little bit. But as we're talking about prophetic breakthrough, you know, as we're talking about this season, 2022, in this half year mark and prophetic breakthrough. What is coming to your spirit? What is the Lord speaking to you? What is God showing to you? Talk to us, man of God, because this is such a crucial time. You know this. We know this. So talk to us. I just want you to release uh, for the next five or so minutes just what has the Lord been downloading concerning prophetic breakthrough? Please take your place. Well, I'll tell you, the Lord is really beginning to raise up those that will not bow their knee uh, to Jezebel, to the spirit uh, of Antichrist, especially in the United States. And he is fortifying uh, his army in this hour. Hmm. And, and just like uh, we see in the Bible with, with, uh, with, the Jeze with, the, with, um, with uh, Naboth, who was a Jezreelite, the Bible says that, uh, that Jezebel wanted his field and yet wow. he refused to give it to her come on and you know naboth the the name naboth means fruit and you know the jezreelite means to sow to god and so the lord's really been speaking to me a lot about um the believers that are taking territory right now mm. those that are um coming into their inheritance and a uh, generational inheritance especially those that live in america are our, our generational heritage that is here in this country that is that is in the soil of the land that the enemy would love to take it uh we have to be like naboth those ones that will uh sow ourselves to god through intercession through prayer and give ourselves to the prophetic decree and allow the presence of god um, to make us bold in this hour to stand up against uh, that governmental, you know, spiritual governmental hierarchy that wants to uh, destroy the land, wants to take it and, uh, you know, turn the fields of the Lord in, into um, their own. And, and God is looking for those that will sow themselves. And, you know, the, a couple of weeks ago, the Lord had shown me that, you know, Jezebel has her war paint on, but the Lord is raising up warriors that will challenge her like Jehu that will meet her uh, right at the wall. And, and we know prophetically yeah. the wall is the wall of intercession. The wall, the Bible says that in Habakkuk, it says, I'll stand upon my tower. I'll wait to see what God has to say. And, and many of us need to get on that tower. And when you read the word of God, you recognize that Jezebel was thrown from her tower her high place, her high seat. And the Bible says that she laid at the wall in Jezreel. And, 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 and so um, the word Jezreel there means God sows. So I want people to hear me very closely. As we sow prophetically in intercession and we sow ourselves and give ourselves to what what God is doing in the realm of the spirit uh, across the world and primarily, particularly, I want to touch on America. As we sow to that, we, we sow to intercession, we sow to righteousness. In turn, God is going to sow justice and he's going to sow judgment uh, to our enemies and those demonic spirits that are trying to destroy the country. Because the Bible says that her, she fell at the wall of Jezreel, which means God sows. So as we sow, God is in turn going to sow back. And, and we can't be um, passive. We have to be supernaturally aggressive in this hour. We have to be militant. And we have to be, uh, have a mindset uh, that, is, that is of uh, war and not of... Um, not of uh, peace. 
uh, because you know there are those prophets that shout peace, peace, peace when there is no peace. Mm. And so we cannot be those that are passive, that are just whatever will be, will be. We have to be aggressive in this hour. We have to, we have to release prophetically what God is saying. And it comes to the point, and you know this, uh, that even the prophetic words that you prophesy can affect you. That it will begin to affect you personally in many areas. And I, and I think that people don't recognize that um, prophets are signposts, prophetic people are signposts. And when things of, of the prophetic go forth, oftentimes the prophet becomes a sign uh, and a wonder and begins to be uh, one that not only prophesies the word, but <clears throat> actually live out that prophecy and has to walk through it with everyone else. That's good. Go ahead, prophet. So I, I say that because when we look at First Kings 17, uh, there's a very you know interesting uh, part in that scripture talking about Elijah. The Bible says that he showed up and uh, on the scene, basically comes onto the scene. Nobody knows who he is. And he prophesies over the king that there's going to be no rain for three and a half years only according to his word not not according to god's word but according to his word and immediately everything in the land begins to dry up everything begins to dry up and the lord sends him to a brook the brook cherub and we know we know uh this this uh particular passage of scripture many people that are watching this know this but the word cherith there uh, in the Hebrew, it means cutting. Mm. So God took the prophet and had him prophesy a word that didn't just cut the, the, the realm of the demonic and those in the high, in hierarchy and those that were um, in governmental positions, but it cut everything in the land, including himself. Because he had to go from a place of promise, from, from prosperity and blessed to a place where he was literally by a brook being fed by raven, ravens. And, you know, the Lord, uh, you know, ravens are prophetic because, because prophetically ravens represent provision mm. from the hand of God. The, 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 the raven is a prophetic bird that brings the word of the Lord day by day. It's good. So what we see happening in this hour is that there has been prophetic words that have went forth that are cutting, and they're, they're obviously cutting down uh, demonic roots, uprooting things in the realm of the spirit we just saw roe versus wade overturned we're seeing things prophetically moving we're seeing things <laughs> in the prophetically moving um and aligning to everything that was prophesied uh previously and and we're we're on the cutting edge but at the same time uh many many people are going through that cutting process and they're having to uh become more mature in receiving and believing on a daily basis to receive fresh word from heaven that the provision is coming day by day yeah there's no storehouses there's not barns that are filled but god is releasing his word day by day and those that are not walking in the spirit in this hour are are in grave danger because if they're not if they're being cut but they're but they're not receiving that word from the raven the provision daily then they're going to be uh you know in a, in a place of famine instead of a place where god is sustaining them during uh this hour where really god is bringing if i can be very honest with you uh, the 
the government of this country under a place of judgment and cleansing so then he can bring a revival to the country. Come on, absolutely. Well, we understand that whenever there's times of opposition, there's always an opportunity. And even in midst of this economic downfall, this crash, with the backlash from Roe versus Wade, the rioting, the looting, the terrorist attacks, the shootings, all of these things that are taking place to instill fear amongst the people, to have control. We know that there's a remnant of believers that are calling out the nonsense, that are standing in between and are saying, enough is enough, Jezebel. We're not going to fall for your lies and your tactics and your taunts and all of your mocking spirits. What happened with David? David, a little shepherd boy, came and met Goliath at the edge, like the prophet said, at the cutting edge, at the line, while all the other warriors, which are the mega church preachers, which many times are our fathers and mothers, the ones that we love in the mainstream, prophetic, charismatic streams, we love them, but just on the sidelines. And here's David, a young shepherd boy offending the religious spirit. And he says, God deliver me from the lion, which stands for fear. God deliver me from the bear, which stands for depression. And God deliver me from these two entities, these demonic principalities. And now God's going to deliver me from this Goliath. So again, the same God who saved you, the same God who brought you through 2020, the toilet paper crisis, that same God is going to bring you through even in this season. And he's going to anoint you to cut off the head of Goliath. This is the season of advancement and taking over. You know, prophet, you're talking about Jezebel and you're talking about the high places. I really believe right now, there is a leveling factor. Of course, the world, the cabal, uh, the one world order, they're calling it the great reset. Many prophets, prophetic people have talked about the reset as well. But in midst of this reset or this leveling, we see in the scriptures, Isaiah 40, the high places will be brought low and the low will be brought up. The rough will be made even and the crooked places straight. So there is a straightening anointing. God is straightening things out. The high places are falling. There is judgment. And yes, even in the house of God, even in the church, we're seeing so many things happen, exposure, shakings, and we love our brothers and sisters in the Lord. But more of that is going to be happening because God is cleaning, like the prophet said. God is cleansing things out, but a lot of things are falling down. So there's going to be a fresh Jesus people movement, grassroots movement, a remnant that are saying, we don't want church as usual. We don't want the same boring conferences with the same people over and over where nothing happens. We want the fresh fire. We want a fresh wind. We want a fresh move. So God is separating. Remember, two, this is the year of 2022. Two in Hebrew means to unite and to separate. It means to bring together and it also means to divide. So this is the year of two and God is still separating the sheep from the goats, the wheat from the shaft. We already know Roe versus Wade. How many so-called Christian demons began to manifest, right? How many Christian demons began to be silent and not use their platforms to speak out and to celebrate? Let me tell you, there is a clear line. Behind. Right now, I feel the fire of God because God is saying it's not time to play games. But this is a season right now where there's separation and the remnant is rising. Like the prophet said, the high places are being brought low. People who are parading themselves, praise God, last month, uh, the month of pride became the month of life, right? The month of the ab abolishing of murder in the womb, the murder of babies. It became the month of life and abundance. So the high things are being brought low. Let me tell you, this CERN, this portal that they are creating at the World Economic Forum, it's going to fail, all right? The Lord has given me a word, and I'm going to release it probably tomorrow. But these demonic portals, we see that even yesterday, the Georgia Guidestones, these demonic portals are going to shut down, close, and fail in Jesus' name. If you believe it, give us some hearts and lights, because I believe this is the year where God is closing demonic mouths and demonic portals, and he is opening up the heavens for a great awakening, for a great move of God. But you need to be bold. 
like David. You need to be bold like the men, women of God that are standing up to say, I'm going to advance with the kingdom and we're going to take it by force because this is a time to gain and plunder in the enemy's camp. While many are shutting and closing, you will gain, advance, and prosper in Jesus' name. Go ahead, prophet. Talk to us, man of God. Well, I'll tell you, the Lord has been speaking very clearly. He gave me a word, and he said, giants are going to fall. Yes. Come giants on. are going to fall. And we're going to see those that have been at the top of different mountains of influence, whether that's media or that's government, are going to uh, be removed. There's going to be scandals that are going to be open for people to see. Different large businesses, corporations. Yep. Uh, we're going to begin to uh, see the uh, cover pulled back um, on them. We're going to begin to see exposure. And we're going to begin to see those that have been in influence in a giant way are going to be exposed. And it's going to be the Lord's doing. Things that have been hidden are going to be revealed. And as I've been seeing very clearly, um, major corporations, those that are in come on different uh places of influence uh visibly to the public yes uh, i saw that there were going there was going to be an uncovering uh and a scandal and it, it the lord says the giants are going to fall even those that are in media those that are in social media there are things that are going to begin to open. Yes. And the Lord says, giants are going to fall. The, the, the Spirit of the Lord told me that in government, he said, watch the state of Pennsylvania. Mm. He said, a giant is going to fall. I, and, and so there are places uh, that we uh, are pinpointing prophetically and uh, releasing the Lord's arrows of deliverance. And we have to be those prophetic intercessors that will not stop striking the ground, um, whether people like it or not. We have to continue to release the clarion call. We have to begin to uh, speak the word of the Lord boldly, strike the ground and don't give any space uh, for Jezebel to take her place and begin to say, no, it doesn't matter what the uh, economy looks like. It doesn't matter what um, the current situation or economic uh, thing that is, that is transpiring. Um, because you and I both know that most of what is happening as far as economically is being triggered on purpose mm -hmm. it's not it's not a it's not a shortage that is um by uh it's it's not by accident no it's being done purposely and it's being done purposely to break people um and bring um, a larger gap between uh the wealth and the and the and the poor absolutely so that's where the prophetic comes into play because e even when you look at um first king 17 elijah releases this word that is cutting he goes to the place of the cutting it cuts him he's on the cutting edge everybody in the land is feeling it there's a famine there's a drought there's there's all these things that are transpiring that he's receiving his word day by day by day and yet we see with the widow woman, the Bible says that he goes from the, the brook Cherith, which means cutting, and he goes to the widow woman in Zarephath, which Zarephath means, um, it means the re refinery. 
So we're going from the cutting edge. We're going to where the word has been cutting us and we're maturing in the place where, where uh, many of us prophetically are maturing. We're beginning to hear the Lord's voice through his word, through visitations, through, through, uh, you know, spending time in prayer. And we're beginning to hone in on what God is saying. And some of us are going to miss the famine. We're going to miss, uh, yes. we're going to mess, miss, miss, <laughs> the place where uh, there's poverty in the land because we can hear the voice of the Lord that when one stream of revenue dries up, when the brook dries up, we're able to hear the voice clearly to go to Zarephath, which Zarephath means the place where God is refining. Mm. But for many of us, God is refining us in this season and there's pressure, pressure in our businesses, pressure in 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 um in the word of the lord that's coming to us pressure that we have to hear god's voice very clearly and make decisions decisively not in days but in moments mm. so so some of you that are watching this don't realize that god is is trying to mature you spiritually and you're thinking, why, why am I having to make such split decisions so quickly? It's because God is wanting you to hear him so specifically and so quickly that in a moment you can be led by the spirit to do something, even in the markets, and be able to make that split decision, hear the voice of God, and then make money when no one else is making it. Come on. And, and I'll, I'll tell you, like, you know, some people that are dealing with the, with the stock market and stocks and they're dealing in that area, you're coming into a time where you're going to have to refine hearing the voice of the Lord. Because when, when he goes from the brook to Zarephath, he finds himself in a place where he, he sees a widow woman and a son that are about to die. And only a little bit of meal that's left, a little bit of oil. And yet the Bible says that they were able to be sustained from this, from that simple oil and grain. And, and he said, well, why, why are you bringing that up? Okay, well, there's, there's two things right now that is in shortage in the earth. One, grain. The other is oil. There's, there's, there is purposely a, a held back on grain and mm. oil. Yep. It's being done on purpose. And, and so we need to begin to prophetically recognize what the enemy is doing. Target that thing in prayer because God is wanting to release an abundance spiritually of the harvest and he's also wanting to release spiritually an abundance of oil or Spirit. the anointing in the land and the enemy wants to hold both of those why do we think that the war is going on in ukraine ukraine in in the natural is the breadbasket of the world come on and so the enemy is strategically hitting that that nation but it's spiritually He's trying to take out the harvest. He's trying to take the land. And we can't allow the seed uh, to, to just sit. We have to plant the seed. Yes. And when we do, God says that there's going to be abundance. Come on. And see, this is why I've been so adamant. And I don't know why I'm on this today, but I just. Come on, it. prophet. Come on. Yes. Um, that, that in times of famine, people hold back financially. They don't, they don't, they don't give, they don't sow, they don't, they don't, they don't do those things yeah. that are necessary to see breakthrough in the season of famine and the season of lack. But the Bible says that Isaac sowed in a Come time on. of famine and reaped a hundredfold in the same Come year. On. So actually what, what, what the greatest time to sow is in the time of famine. And that is why 
that the woman in Zarephath and her son lived while others were dying because she recognized that the seed being released, the, the meal and the oil were important to not, not just to sustain uh, the ministry of the prophet that was in the land, but also that seed of the meal and the oil were going to sustain her. So good. And, and, and people don't understand that. They don't understand that it is important in this hour to not look at what is going on globally, but begin to look at what God is doing spiritually. Wow. Because when when we look at the um, uh, when we look in the book of the minor prophets, we see that there wasn't a there was a famine, and the famine was of the word of God. And I don't know. Uh, if people have begun to recognize this, but while there's an abundance of things that we can watch and listen to mm -hmm. online, um, for me personally, there's only a few particular uh, things that I that hit my spirit when I listen yeah. to them. Come on, everything else is just kind of like white noise. Come on, and 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 so there's a there's a bit of a famine in the land prophetically. But when you find the prophetic voice, you find the one that's on the cutting edge. Mm. They're not just, you know, they're in the trenches. They're going right through it with you. They're not stopping. And, you know, even, la you know, in 2020, there was a lot of people. And I, I, I mean, some people get upset about this, but whatever. Preach you know, it, God. Preach it. it. Down. You don't want, you don't want to do it. You want to do everything online, you know, and, and, and you, you know, social distance and, and all these different things. And then you want to come back and just pretend like nothing ever happened. Now that, yeah. now that the, 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 you know, the plague is like subsided the, you know, it, like, it's like, no, no. During the time of war, you need warriors. Come you on. need people standing on the front lines. You need people that are, that are like Elijah with the spirit of Elijah that aren't going to bow their knee, that aren't going to run and hide, that are yeah. going to go through that time in that season and there's going to be a sustaining. So I, I just feel that so so pow so powerfully in in the realm of the spirit. I want to encourage those that are watching this broadcast that your seed has not went into the ground uh, in vain. It's not going to dry on the root. the The word of the Lord says that every word that proceeds out of the mouth of God never returns void. Your prayers aren't going to return void. Your your prophetic. Uh, you know, declarations aren't going to go void and your in your seed that you've released into the earth, uh, your financially is not going to uh, go to a place where it's not going to produce. So while others are not producing. God is going to cause you to prosper and be uh, one that produces in the hour of famine. And, and so I. I feel this yes. very strongly prophetically. Begin to watch the turning of the grain and the oil. All right. Because it because while it seems like it's on a decline and there's a grip and a hold on it, the word of the Lord says that there is a opening of God's hand and the oil is going to flow freely. Yes. And the and the grain is also going to be in abundance. Wow. That's a good word, prophet. And in the realm of the spirit, I'm I see as well. The Lord says, get ready for an abundance of meat. OK, I prophesy that. OK, the prophet Charlie released the word about the oil and and the wheat, which I'm in full agreement with, and you already know I've been talking about this if you follow, follow our ministry. But I also believe, number three, there's going to be an abundance of meat where all these factories are killing the cows and chickens and, and goats in America. And we already know Bill Gates is killing our meat sources. But there's going to be an abundance of meat, the meat of the word. So in this season where it seems like there's lack or, you know, the enemy is trying to instill fear, don't be afraid. 
Everything you've seen done is not in vain. And this truly is a Kairos moment for your come up, for your breakthrough, for your advancement. I believe there's some people here today that maybe your grip of fear, your grip with anxiety, you're feeling crippled with the fear of the future, but God is going to break it off of you. And there's going to be a breakthrough in your mind, in your soul, in your spirit. And God's going to upgrade you like never before, because the good news is forever. It's not just for when Jesus comes back or when Jesus was walking on the earth. No, he is in you. That's the good news. You will never lack. You will be blessed. You will be filled. Your vats uh, will be filled with joy, with abundance. That's the word of God. That's the book of Deuteronomy. So I believe right now, more and more, there's going to be a clear distinction of who is with God and who's not. And let me tell you, as the prophet said, this is a season where God is giving faith. He's releasing faith over fear. Everyone say faith over fear. Faith over fear. I love what Chris Valentin says. He says that fear is faith used improperly. But when we put our faith in God and in his word, then things are going to shift. Listen, people of God, today, there was a number of things that were shared and released. <clears throat> but myself and Prophet Charlie, we want to release an impartation of faith. We want to release an impartation that there will be a breakthrough in the spirit, a breakthrough in the realm of the prophetic. We come in agreement right now and we release breakthrough over your life that every locust will be destroyed. Every hex vex will be destroyed. Every curse will be reversed. And even in midst of the waiting and the tension, God says, I'm going to show up. All you have to do is be still and watch me show up. There is judgment, 10 judgments coming upon the pharaohs of America. But even in midst of the 10 judgments, there were 10 blessings over God's people. You are a Goshen glory zone. And we release the blessing of God over your life. Prophet Charlie, do you have any prophetic decrees corporately you want to release right now in this moment? Well, I feel, again, very strongly about this oil. I want to hit on this again. The oil and the wheat or, or the grain that we're going to watch a turnaround in both of these uh, areas. And people are going to see in a day. It's like 2 Kings chapter 7, verse 1. Elisha uh, said that the word of the Lord came to him. And he said, the finest, by this time tomorrow, yes. the finest flour will sell for a shekel. Nobody could believe that because there was a famine in the land and that there was a holding back of the wheat. And... I prophesy, watch the price, watch even the wheat. It's going to flood in abundance. Mm. There's going to be a turnaround. Wow. Even in the even in the oil and gasoline prices, we're going to begin to see those turn as well. And it will happen in a day. It will happen in one single day where people will say, this cannot be. Some of you are watching me right now. You say, it cannot happen. It's impossible. Inflation in food prices, uh, in, in, in the gasoline continues wow. to go up. Watch and see in a single day, we're going to see a massive turnaround. And people will be shocked. They'll say, how did this happen? And it will be a sign of what the Lord is doing and that there's a turnaround that is in this nation and that we are coming back from, a, from the breaking point wow. to the place of breakthrough. From a breaking point to the place of breakthrough. Prophet, I also see in the spirit right now, and people have got... Prophet Charlie is, is one of the, the most well-known prophets for time stamping and for integrity with prophetic words. But separately, you know me, anybody who knows me and follows our ministry, I'm prophesying right now as Prophet Charlie is speaking, 
a realm of revelation. We all see in part, no part is opening up for me as he's ministering. And I'm seeing in the spirit, gas prices go back down. And the Lord says that there's going to be some kind of corruption exposed in the gasoline industry that's connected with China and the Middle East and the United States and even South America. But gas prices are going to go back low. And I prophesy that the pipelines in the United States and Canada is going to open up in Jesus mighty name. Amen. My goodness, prophet. Listen, people, I want all of you to just lift up your hands. Prophet, can you stretch out your hands to our viewers right now? Lord, we thank you for the fire of God. We come in agreement. We release the prophetic word. Lord, we come in agreement. We remove any hopelessness. Many of you are feeling tired and hopeless. You're feeling defeated. That is the devil. We bind it. We break it now. And I thank you for new dreams, new visions. In fact, I woke up this morning with a dream of our new church building. Incredible. But God's going to do some supernatural in your life this week. So, Lord, we come in agreement. According to the word of the prophets, let it come to pass in the mighty name of Jesus. Prophet Charlie, is there anything else you want to say before we just shift here? Yeah, no, so Lord, I just bless every person underneath the sound of my voice. Father, I thank you that there will be plenty there will be abundance in their cupboards. Father, that the oil, the anointing will not fail. Yes. The oil will flow. The finances, businesses will flow. There will be no shortage of finances. There will be no shortage of food. Father, I thank you that your fire is falling upon each and every one underneath the sound of my voice. And I bless them now in Jesus mighty name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Listen, people of God, there's such a realm of faith right now. And that's what pe prophetic people do. That's what ministers, men and women of God do. We demonstrate with our lives and that becomes an impartation. Do you receive the words that were shared today? They were so rich. They were so rich. They were, a lot of golden nuggets and keys and revelation. And then there were prophetic words and unctions. But I believe right now, as a prophet said, your breaking point is going to go to a breakthrough. Some of you have come to a stoppage or the oil has stopped. But now it's going to begin to flow in your life. If you receive it, say amen. If you believe that, shout hallelujah. And as I've been prophesying, I declare the second half of 2022 will be greater than the first half. The glory of the latter of this year will be greater than the glory of the former. In Jesus' mighty name, if you believe it, shout hallelujah. Listen, people of God, in this moment, um, Prophet Charlie, how you doing on time? You got to get going or you got a few more minutes? How you doing, my friend? I got a few more minutes, yeah. I got a few Wait more minutes. Listen, Prophet Charlie, you're going to be with us in Hawaii uh, next week, okay? Bryn's going to be there, your wife. We got Jake Hamilton coming. So talk to us. What are you feeling? Maybe there's some people watching and they want to be a part of the online group. Okay. You have to register to watch online or maybe you need a vacation. You want to fly out. You don't want to miss out on this glory impartation. So talk to us. What are you expecting before we excuse you, man of God? Well, I'll tell you, I, I believe that God's going to move in a very powerful way. And the Lord has a word for Hawaii. The Lord has a, a ah. word for those that are going to be uh, watching the broadcast. You don't want to miss this. Um, obviously, before we went live, I said this is going to be a time of redemption. And um, the word of the Lord is going to come forth. And, and, and we both know that I was supposed to be there earlier in this year or last year, and it didn't work out. Uh, but, the, but the Lord is, is open this door fully, and I believe that we're going to experience open heavens. I believe it's going to be a powerful time for those that are going to be attending uh, both in person as well as those that are online. The, the presence of God is going to flow. The prophetic is going to flow. I believe miracles are going to manifest. I believe that there's going to be a uh, significant shift in many people's lives that are going to be attending the event. I, I have great anticipation in my spirit that uh, God is going to bring us a word from him 
and it is going to impact us and change us. Come on. Amen. People of God, you need to register. Go to benlimglobal.com to be a part of the online group. Okay. We have anointed worship from Jake Hamilton. We got prophet Charlie and myself. I mean, you don't want to miss out on this. All right. Like prophet said in the beginning, something fresh and new. You don't want to be part of the old, the mundane, religious thing. You want to be part of the fresh and the new thing. So if you're interested or if you're joining us on site or online, I want you to just comment me in the chat group so we can just acknowledge you. Prophet Charlie, love you, man of God. God bless you. Can't wait to meet you in the Aloha glory next week and Amen. redemption indeed in Jesus' name. God, let's give it up for the prophet. Give some hearts and likes as he exits the broadcast. Praise God. God bless you, my friend. Well, people of God, thanks so much for joining. Listen, I want to make some quick announcements, and then I want to pray for some of you people here because the glory is thick, the prophetic breakthrough. Were you blessed today? Did you receive today? Amen. Thank I you want to Charlie, you to you, give man, some hearts and likes if you were blessed, and I want you to just comment, I'm blessed. Amen. But I want to give some announcements here real quick, of course. Um, actually Monday, I'm doing a webinar, a free webinar. All of our webinars are now free webinar called Gloryology. We're going to talk about the glory of God and what is the glory? How does the glory differ from, uh, you know, the anointing and from the gift? So if you want to go deeper, if you want to go higher in Gloryology, in the glory of God, I want to meet you there. It's going to be this coming Monday at 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. It's been a while since we've done a webinar, so I can't wait to see all of our family there. Uh, it's going to be a great reunion. Amen. And, of course, the next week, right after that, we have Hawaii. Come on, somebody, with myself, Jake Hamilton, and Prophet Charlie Sham. It's going to be powerful. You need to join. You need to be a part of this. It's going to be so powerful. Whether you're on site or online, I encourage you. Join, be a part of this because it's going to change your life. Amen. So join the online group. It's going to be wonderful. And last but not least, I want to talk about our conference in August in Orlando. Myself and the twin prophets, Dr. Hakeem and Naeem Collins. This is going to be so powerful. And, uh, you know, we're going to be in Orlando with the twin prophets and Steve Swanson. He is an incredible worship leader. So I want you to join. Fly out. If you're in the Florida, Georgia, East Coast area, come out to nice weather, humid area like Orlando, Florida, and jump in the glory. Amen. And also I want to talk about, I have a group mentorship called 7M Glory Equip. I think you can see it on the caption below. But I have a group mentorship online called 7M Glory Equip. Uh, pretty much, uh, you know, we have bi-weekly live Zooms with a group, and you can be part of a private community. These people in this group, they are on fire, okay? They love God. They're on fire. They're getting trained up and equipped, and I want to mentor you. I want to equip you. Do you want to be part of a tribe or a family? Join and gather. Be a part of this group, and let me tell you, it will change your life. I know pretty much so many of our 7 members have been blessed and have grown since they've joined. So if you want to be part of an online group mentorship or a family, join us in Jesus' name. Amen. And now, people of God, before we shift, if you receive today, I want you to say amen. If you receive today by the word of the prophets, Prophet Charlie said, there's going to be a resurgence of oil and the grain. Amen. Through me, the Lord declared there's going to be a resurgence of meat. Come on, somebody. If you believe that, say amen. Really, we're talking about breakthrough in the prophetic, breakthrough in the spirit realm. And if you receive today, I want you to say amen. Hallelujah. But even in this moment, people of God, I want to give you an opportunity to sow. I want to give you an opportunity to bless the Lord, to respond. This really is the test of our faith. Do we believe or do we not? Do we believe in the word of the prophets or do we not? So today I want to invite you and encourage you Bless the to Lord sow. To and I want to 
open up a time for you to sow in the spirit. I believe there's some of you, you genuinely need a breakthrough. Some of you, you genuinely believe that this is your season. Who believes it's your season? Amen. So I want to invite you to sow, people of God. I want to invite you to sow. I want to invite you to give. I want to invite you to bless the Lord and to respond with your faith. The Bible says faith without actions is dead. So I want to open up a time for you to sow. Open up a time for you to bless the Lord, to respond in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Bless Prophet Charlie. Bless this ministry. Be a blessing back in Jesus' name. So as you're feeling led to sow today, I want you to comment redemption. Prophet Charlie in the beginning said that he believes this Hawaii conference is a time of redemption. Everyone say redemption. So as you sow and as you are preparing your seed, the links are being uh, released in the chat group. We've even pinned it to the top. If you click on the link tree link, it will lead you to many different ways to sow and to give and to bless. But as you're here today, people of God, as you are pledging, committing yourself to sow and to give, I want you to comment redemption as you are sowing so that I can call out your name in agreement in Jesus' name. Amy Legendary Whitmer, God bless you. Myrna Alvarez, God bless you. CJ Mouton, God bless you. Christine Leonard, God bless you. Didi Moss, God bless you. Zerebra Connie Javier, God bless you. Come on, people of God. So in this moment, so in this atmosphere. So in this moment, do not miss out. Praise God. But the Lord is doing great things. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Tyler McDonald, God bless you. Cassandra Corillon, God bless you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank Karen Ren Tomlin, God bless you. Hallelujah. Rochelle Mead, God bless you. Vanessa De Jesus, God bless you. Lisa Lopez, God bless you. Latanya Minix, God bless you. Thank you, Jesus. D. Cayetaneto, God bless you. Thank you, Lord, for the word of God says that we know in part and we prophesy in part. There were some prophetic words, unction, revelations that were released for your breakthrough. Lindewe Diomo, God bless you. Sakwa Eva, God bless you. Sherry, God bless you. Providence Ivana, God bless you. Zaps Nora, God bless you. And I do want to minister over some of you personally, call you up by name in a few minutes after this sewing session. Margaret Kilue, God bless you. Rochelle Mead, double to you. Lisa Lopez, amen. God bless you. Angela Campbell, God bless you. Remember, we are not marketing or merchandising the gospel. However, as Apostle Paul says, I want to give you an opportunity to give, to partner. Pastor Sharon, God bless you. Come on, as you're giving, as you're sowing, as you're connecting with the word, as you're blessing the Lord in return, I want you to comment redemption as a sign that you have blessed the Lord. Lindewe Diomo, God bless you. I'm going to give about another minute here before we shift and I begin to minister to some of you prophetically. Shata bare bekera brata tere brata tere rurusha tere brata tere rurusha ruska rada rurusha. Come on, somebody, somebody shout hallelujah. Amen. Francine Buzel. God bless those who can give and those who cannot. The Lord will give the seed to the sower, however. 
Jere branda de rusha, de rusha, tara branda de rusha. Shandra de rusha. Thank you, Jesus. Somebody shout hallelujah. If you connect with these words, if you connect with the anointing, we want to give you an opportunity to sow and to bless and to partner with the work of God. Somebody say hallelujah. Now I want to say thank you to all of those who sowed, who made a commitment before God to bless his name and to bless his work in this moment, in this atmosphere. Now, people of God, I'm going to begin to minister to some of you personally because that's what I felt the Lord lead me to do today. Amen. However, I also want to encourage you this coming Monday, July 11th, I am doing a free webinar on gloriology. We're going to talk about the glory of God. How is it different from the anointing? How is it different from the gifts? How is it different? What is the glory? And let me tell you, I fasted into this. I pressed into this realm. And I believe the Lord has given me personal revelation wisdom on how to move into glory and how to bring it from heaven to earth. So it's a free webinar. So I want to encourage you to join us. Amen. Hallelujah. So right now, people, God, I want to minister over some of you personally here. If you want me to pray for you, I want you to give us some hearts and likes. And I want you to comment, pray for me. To come and pray for me. If you want me to pray for you. If you want me to minister a word to you. Personally. Thank you Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Lisa Cruz. Lisa Cruz, I sense you are in a cross point of your life. And the Lord really wants to encourage you. And God is saying, even as you are at a crossroads, do not be discouraged. Do not give up. The word of God is going to come to you. There's going to be a fresh word and a fresh breakthrough. God's really going to meet you. It's like you've had it up to here. And God's really going to deliver you. And I see tears streaming down your face. Because God is saying, it's okay to cry, my child, my daughter. So there's going to be comfort. The Bible says, comfort those who mourn. So God's going to comfort you, woman of God. Let me know if that word makes sense. Nicole Harper, I see that, that right now there's two things. Number one, you are a woman of positivity and optimism. You have great energy. People love you. However, number two, there's times where you feel insecure and low and little about yourself. There's times where you believe in the lies of the enemy. The lies that says you're not good enough. You're not going to amount to nothing. And causes you to be afraid and to shake and to feel insecure at times. God says that's the devil. God says do not be afraid. God says be you. Be bold. Be different. There is a leadership gift on your life for you to stand up and stand out. That's why you've gone through all the hardships you've gone through in your childhood at a young age. But the Lord has pressed you. And tested you for many years. 
and even in this season, God's going to give you more visibility and cause your influence to grow in Jesus' name. Let me know if that word makes sense to you. Latanya Minix. Latanya Minix, I see a great gift of entrepreneurialism. I see a great gift of creativity. I see a great gift of business owning and business management. Truly, there is a wealth anointing, even a generational wealth. And I see generational wealth. There's something with you in Europe. I don't know where you're from, but I keep seeing like the Netherlands and the UK and Norway. But there's something with you and Europe. And there's a European dynastic anointing, a generational wealth, legacy, inheritance from Europe. And I keep hearing the Lord said the Druids, the Druids, like the Druid warriors. There's a Druid anointing for you to truly be a warrior and for you to tear down strongholds and destroy devils and demonic principalities. Wow. I see like an axe hammer in your hand, like a battle axe in your hands. And God says, get ready for reformation, for a revolution in Jesus' name. Let me know if that makes sense to you. Thank you, Father. I'm going to pray for two more people, people of God, in this flow, under this anointing. Be shorty. God says, I will continue to use you as a voice. I will amplify your voice. Your voice is actually going to get louder. You know, I've been preaching and singing out loud almost every day for the last 12 years. And so the Lord has trained me and my vocals. And God is going to amplify your voice. You know, when you are in an amphitheater, there's a natural, there's a natural build or a natural environment for your, for the sound to be amplified. God is saying to you, be shorty, I'm going to amplify your voice and your influence. I see you in front of news channels. Oh, I see you being a social media influencer. And God is going to amplify your influence and your voice to reach more people for the glory of his name. And the Lord says, even if it looks like your children and family are in disarray, I will move on them and upon them in Jesus' name. I will bring back the prodigals and there will be a revival fire and a restoration in Jesus' name. Lisa Lopez, you really want some prayer here. Lisa Lopez, I see the hand of God over you. But also, I see God's hand removing the devil's hand. I keep seeing this in the spirit. There's like a claw on your head. And have you been experiencing headaches, migraines? Yes, you've been under a lot of stress. A lot of stress. Almost feels like you're going crazy. But I see this dark black demonic claw on your head. But I see the hand of God come over and pluck it off and remove it from your life. God says from this day on, there will be shalom on your mind. The Bible says he has given you power and love and a sound mind. God is giving you a sound mind. That witchcraft is being broken off. That witchcraft is being removed from your life, woman of God. And the Lord says, even from this day on, I'm going to begin to give you greater joy, peace, and freedom. Who the sun sets free is free indeed. Lisa Lopez, let me know if that makes sense to you. And if your the migraines has just left. Talk to me, Lisa Lopez. Thank you, Jesus. Lola, God bless you. 
Headaches be removed in Jesus' name. Headaches be removed. The fire of the Holy Ghost. Thank you, Jesus. So much shout hallelujah. Well, people of God, I want to say God bless you and I love you. I'm really going to, maybe in the next few days, I want to do a broadcast where I'm just praying for people, the whole broadcast. That's going to be fun. So I want to do a broadcast where I'm just praying for people and that's it. Okay. So uh, be on the lookout for that because I really do want to pray for all of you. But you know, in this moment, I'm not able to. But I pray now that the fire of God, the power of God, the grace of Jesus will come upon you. May his word touch you, refresh you, and renew you. God bless you, everybody. This is Dr. Pastor Ben Lim. Early, we had our good friend, Prophet Charlie Shamp, join us. And we talked about prophetic breakthrough. And we even went into some prophetic words so rich. And remember, test those words. Time stamp those words, people of God. Join us in Hawaii next week. Myself, Prophet Charlie, and Jake Hamilton, we're going to be in Hawaii next week. So join us. Do you need a vacation? Yes, you do. Do you want to experience the glory of God? Yes, you do. So fly over and join us and be a part of the glory. Amen. Be a part of the Hawaii glory impartation. It's going to be a life changer and it's going to bless you. And remember, I am going to be in Florida in the month of August in Orlando, Florida with the Twin Prophets. Myself, Dr. Hakeem and Naeem Collins. It's going to be us three with Steve Swanson. It's going to be so powerful in Orlando, Florida called the Burning Ones Conference. So I want to invite you, join, be a part of it. Amen. And be with us in Orlando, Florida area. And last but not least, remember again this Monday, I am doing a free webinar on Gloriology. I want to talk to you about the glory of God. What is the glory? How do I move in the glory? How do I increase his glory? What happens when the glory of God comes forth? So I want to talk to you about Gloriology. It is a free webinar this coming Monday, July 7th, July 11th, excuse me, July 11th, Gloriology. So join, be a part of it. It's a free webinar, literally three, four hours of teaching and impartation and prayer. It's going to change a life. God bless you, friends. This is Dr. Pastor Ben Lim. Thank you so much for joining. Let us know if you were blessed, if you received. Make sure you share this. Tag somebody. Make sure your friends get in this word. Amen. This is Dr. Pastor Ben Lim. God bless you. Until next time, thanks for joining us for Prophetic Breakthrough. Ciao.